Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you today? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Here's the daily crumb. Hope you're loving it. Wait. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time of day this is for you. And welcome to the Daily Crop with me, Wingy Schneebe, Mijanki Quinn. Your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass water medicine woman, most Christiana Car, Chris Car, Superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome, all you beautiful divine beings right here, too. How goes it with you? How was your weekend? <clears throat> weekend is a Monday for me. Mending Monday, morning Monday, make the most of it Monday. And what is that? What is that for you? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do the two days. Boy, does it ever feel weird when I do not start my day with the daily drum. That's just so, but I was given that care to myself. I have my children here this weekend and also school. So like I've shared before, before the holidays, it, it, it was offset. So I'll have my children one weekend and school the next. But now they're both children and school on the same weekend till March. <sighs> okay, um, and today, so last Monday started with morning and I'm crying. I've been crying already this morning because I got the, the one a person from the uh, property managers coming today. See, the other one said it'd be a good idea to come and uh, stop by. And, uh, yeah. Time, time flies by, hey? We're almost halfway through February. And I got till April 30th. On or before April 30th to move out. But I don't want to move out. I want to stay. I keep praying and praying for that miracle. I'm going to come by my home with me. Build this begin within business. There's lots of property. 54 by 218. We've got lots of room here. So, uh, anyway, so I'm going to dive into to this today. Okay. Love you so. And I'm always okay. And when I don't feel that way. And you know what? That's the thing with miracles. We don't know where, where they're coming from and whatever. You know, it's not like we get a postcard and it says, okay, your miracle is going to arrive on this day at this time. <laughs> It'll be in, in this disguise. It will be coming through these. I don't know. I believe I've had lots of miracles happen in my life. I just can't believe it. And you know what? You know, whatever it is, whatever it is. I trust in that divine plan, humans. Yes, I do. It's what I've always defaulted to. Because I don't know. <laughs> I don't I never, never have. Never have. What fell all down there? There's two face up, two face up. Inspiration, reflection, and affirmation. Here we go. We've got two affirmations. Our bodies are gardens to which our wills are gardeners. William Shakespeare, do something to thank your body for its hard work and miraculous ability to move, feel, and communicate. So that's just a little mention there. But the other one that flipped up. And then there's three. When I get three, right? We do all three. It's not often that they pull up like that together, right? Because there's only three things in the deck. Once you embrace your value, talents, and strengths, it neutralizes when others think less of you. Hey, we're out here. Let's do it. We, we don't need to prove who we are. We just need to be who we are, right? We don't need to be accepted and liked by everybody. We don't need to be friends with everybody. Right? Because we're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Hey, nothing wrong with that. All right? That's why it's so important to love ourselves because we're not going to be going out there looking for approval from others. Right? We don't have to put it in your face. This is who I am. Right? We don't have to. If you find yourself having to prove who you are, maybe you need to move on to something else. Right? I don't know. I don't know. What is that for you? One, as you fall asleep, reflect on your values, talents, and strengths. Okay. Seven. So as you fall asleep or throughout the day, reflect on that. What's your balance? Value talents and strength. What makes you unique? There are days I drop words of comfort on myself like falling leaves and remember that it is enough to be taken care of by myself. Brian Andreas. And we're not. We're not, we're not on our own, okay? Let's get over ourselves. 
<laughs> we are the most dependent. Everything was here before us humans. Everything will be here long after we gone. We are dependent on everything else. Ain't nothing dependent on us except for our babies. Okay. Our little children are very dependent on us. Anyways. Excuse me. Ah, schedule 15 minutes in your day for a favorite hobby or activity with no objective other than to bring yourself pleasure. Other than just for the fun of it. Okay, so what is that you like to do just for the fun of it? I might go turn some music on and crank it up and, and dance around just for the fun of it. Oh, my body's been very, very sore and very tired. The flow time's about coming too, right? So the flow is more too. Ah, I don't know. What is that for you? Okay, be faithful to that which exists within yourself. André Guiné, return to an affirmation throughout the day that reinforces the parts of you that would that you most want others to know. I am sure and sweet and capable of anything. Right, that's right. I am a believer and a dreamer and capable of anything. Mm, I don't know. Right, this is number nine. What is that for you? You you fill in those blanks as you will. You are hmm, and hmm, and capable of anything. Right, I know. What's up for you? Okay, where are we at? Six thirty-two. <laughs> swing it, swing it, cause I don't want to live in the sadness. Feel the fear. And there's always some gladness. <laughs> oh, I'm swinging. <laughs> so I'm scared. <laughs> and then I'm acknowledging that. I'm not trying to resist. Because that's there. And that's a natural. There's nothing to feel bad about for that. No, no need to feel ashamed of myself. Going through financial abuse. I went through a pretty common thing, which is really sad that it's so common with this broken system. Failed by the broken system. Nothing, nothing new. It's, it's so true. And I feel for all you others that's gone through this too. Look at that. Today, it's all about building that self-esteem. Knowing who we are, right? Beginning the day, beginning the week with that. Knowing, right? Not just dropping those words of kindness and stuff and love into your day, but into your week. What is that? You've got to know who you are, right? Like that moose, he'll go stand up against that Mack truck and don't you honk or he'll think you're a cow. Come try and mate your truck. I don't know. What is that? What's the message in there? Oh, look at that. 11 equals with two, right? And what is that passion? Going to do something just for the sheer joy of it. What is that? What brings you joy? Because you know what? We need to feel more joy. We're cleansing out because we've been governed and led by fear for so long. It's let love lead. We're nurturing, nurturing that inside of us, nurturing those new growths, right? Nurturing those renewed abilities, that little inside, giving that little that it needed, but didn't see. Oh, I'm knocking everything over her. Oh. And my ass just slid right on. <laughs> this dress is a little slippery. I don't know, just slid right out. I'm gonna pull this in. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Can you laugh at yourself like that? Pull on your ass. <laughs> but I always get back up. There we go. There we go. There we go. So I'm being herself. I love that. I can laugh at myself no matter what, right? Right? Oh man. I am a human being. I'm being human and I'm capable of anything, right? That's sort of grace and ease, please. Grace and ease. Here we go. That ritual of joy says hour of power, but we're looking for 15 minutes and we got that victory because when we are our true self in a world trying to make us something else, huh, that's the sweetest victory there is. All right. So let's do that. Bring that joy to yourself. Hey, when they keep wanting us to be miserable and afraid and we keep going happy, look at that. The who's down in Whoville. Right, the Grinch tried to ruin their Christmas, but they came out and they kept singing and they joined hands and all that. Sharing that love. Let's share that love. What are you adding into this world? You beautiful, beautiful being. Because you are capable of anything. You are loved unconditionally and you are capable of anything. All right? Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes, thank you for being you and shining your light through and everything you do. Because you know what? This world needs you. Just to be you. Fully holy and true. 
All right, let's grow, grow, grow. Slow, slow, slow. And make this another wonderful day. Love you all. Mm -hmm. Thank you.